If you believe you can turn on excellence, turn on commitment, turn on preparation, if you think you can turn it on and on like a life light switch, I'm telling you, you just undermined your ability to be the best player you're capable of. Last thing I'll say and I'll wrap this up. So in 2007, I had an opportunity. Uh, I, I live in the Washington DC area and a good friend of mine and your coaching staff may know Dave Bullwinkle. He's a uh, long time scout with the Chicago Bulls. And in 2007, he sent me a text and asked if I wanted to go watch the Syracuse versus Georgetown game because Georgetown's right in my backyard. And keep in mind for context, uh, this was back when the Big East was the Big East and Syracuse and Georgetown were Syracuse and Georgetown. So he didn't have to twist my arm to go watch an elite level college game. And he texted me and he said, Alan, will you meet me at the arena at four? And I was confused because tip off was at seven. And I thought, why in the world? I mean, I believe in promptness. I try to get everywhere early. I believe if you're on time, you're late. But I thought, why in the world would we need to get somewhere three hours before tip off? And you know what he said? He said, I need to watch the players when they don't think anyone is watching. I need to see how they prepare and how dialed in they are for their game. Obviously, as you guys know, three hours before tip off, you've got your walkthrough, you've got your, your warm ups with Coach Hen, you've got other things to prepare to play. And he wanted to watch how those players were dialed in. Now, at this time, and I won't mention any player's name, you can look up the roster from 2007 on those two teams. Each team had two or three players that were potential first round draft picks. And he took more notes during the three hours before tip off on his yellow legal pad than he took when the game actually started. He was more interested in their preparation. He was more interested in how coachable they were, how dialed in they were. And once again, I would not mention players' names, but there were a couple of players on each team that absolutely sabotaged their draft stock because they weren't locked in. They were goofing around. They were going half speed. They weren't making eye contact with their coaches when their coaches were talking. You know, they're supposed to be putting up game shots from game spot at game speed and they're joking around and throwing up hook shots. They severely tarnished their draft stock. Then there were two or three other players that did the exact opposite of that. They were 100% focused, they were 100% bought in, they were 100% locked in. They were doing everything as if it mattered because everything does matter. And you guys know how it works when you're drafted in the first round of of the NBA draft. You know, the, the contracts, your first contract has already been predetermined. There's no negotiation. You guys realize that every, every slot you drop in the first round of the NBA draft, you lose between $250,000 and $500,000 a year for the first three years of your contract. You guys know that, right? So you know if you're capable of being the 10th pick in the draft and you drop down to number 18, you just cost yourself about a million and a half dollars a year for the first three years, four and a half million dollars. Those players have no idea that they lowered their draft status and they lowered their stock and they actually lowered their bank account because they weren't behaving in a manner that elite players perform. And the reason I want to end with that story is you guys need to make the assumption that someone is always watching you on the court or off the court Someone is always watching you and you need to behave accordingly. The moment you think you can turn it on and off, when coach is watching, that's when I'll give my best. When the cameras are on, that's when I'll give my best. When we're playing a big time opponent, that's when I'll give my best. If you believe you can turn on excellence, turn on commitment, turn on preparation, if you think you can turn it on and on like a life light switch, I'm telling you, you just undermined your ability to be the best player you're capable of. You behave in a manner as if someone is always watching you because at your level and playing at a program like this, I promise you, someone is always watching you.